Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Developers, today we are synchronizing up your coding world with project management magic. Join me for a quick guide on connecting Trello to GitHub in 2024. Let's ensure your task and code processes are in perfect harmony. Ready to streamline your workflow? Let's go! So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the requirements of this video are pretty simple. Have Trello account and of course a GitHub account. And now let's start. So first thing is to start by creating a new table. Here I'm going to name it whatever here. I'm going to name it for example GitHub and I'm going to give the visibility private. Now. I have basically the lim I got reached the limit, so I have to remove some of these. Uh, basically, I will remove, for example, this one. Yep, I'm going to remove this one and create a new uh, one from this section. So here we go. Choose this color table. Let's name it GitHub and let's choose it to be private. Click on create, and here it is. So. The first thing to add any in integration with Trello, there is multiple ways. There is third part, uh, third party apps, and there is a direct connection depending on the partnership between Trello and the other app. For example, GitHub. Let me show you how to connect it with Trello on multiple ways. The first way is by creating a list. Go here and add the list, and let's name it GitHub. You just name it depending on your project. For example, we can name it here uh, to-do list and it doesn't really matter. So here, for example, GitHub, I'm just gonna name it GitHub again because the name doesn't really matter. This is just the way on how you should do it and that's it. Here, let's click on it, double click and you will find this pop-up window which has four different sections. It will have add to map, which is this first section. There is also power apps, there is also automating and there is actions for us we are going with power apps so simply click on add power up right through here and this marketplace of applications or extensions is going to be open for you depending on your luck you might find it on the first page so for us we didn't find github here so basically we're just going to search for it so go right here and type its name so GitHub, here it is, and we have found it. So let's click in here on GitHub. And as I said, there is direct synchronization. And there is, for example, let me just search again, and you will find uh, other application that will help you to do the connection. For example, there is this uh, sync app, which is working as a third party app that will give you the access between GitHub and Trello in two-way synchronization so here we're just going to connect it with github directly so let's just choose github so let's click on it here we go so i don't know why it is not clicking uh, or let's click on add and yeah here it is it has been added successfully so now let's read about it and let's know exactly what are we going to expect from this integration to do for us so if i want right here you can watch and read this overview so the github power up for Trello allows teams to track ongoing activities on github directly from their Trello board give more context to your code base by attaching pull requests tickets branches and more directly to the map at a glance you can see if a pull request has been merged the status of checks who the pull requests and are signed to and more Verifications also appear as visual badges on the front of cards, color coded to match their status. So the features are basically attached branches, comment tickets, and pull requests directly to maps. The status of pull requests is indicated on the front of the cards. Uh, identify cards that have not passed the validation stage with color coded badges displayed on the front of the cards. Developers and maintainers can access GitHub with one click to work on their assigned task, associate one more GitHub repositories with the board, and the GitHub Power App is compatible with GitHub and GitHub Enterprise instances.
so here they are showing you how to work with so if you went to power apps on your maps you will find this github button so after you click on it you will find four different options attach a branch attach commitment uh, attach issue and attach pull requests so you can choose whatever you want here you will find uh, details about it for example clothes there will be colors badges on, on it and you can even find the pictures of the employees here so there will be a lot of things going on on your badges from now on so let's go and try it out so let's click on github map which we have created and let's click right here on power apps so here on the power apps you will find github and let's check if we are going to find four options so here we go join a branch attach a validation attach a ticket and pull requests exactly what we were looking for so simply now what we have to do is to choose one of these options so let's join for example a branch and here you have to associate your account on github so simply just log in uh, here I'm just gonna put my email address I don't know if it's gonna work or not uh, yeah and here they're gonna send you the code so let me just check it out on my gmail inbox here we go all right and now let's go right here verify and authorize Trello and as you can see the account has been associated successfully so now we can join the branch let me just wait or attach a validation or attach a ticket or attach a pull request depending on what I'm going to do exactly so here it's laggy a little bit okay here we go it is working and here we can attach everything from our github account so guys since i'm not a developer there's nothing to actually add so i don't know it's just empty uh, I, I don't really understand what i'm doing here but yeah this is basically the connection between github and your trailer account it's pretty easy as you saw guys there's nothing complicated about it you can even find here on the, the, on the second menu so there is two menus there is the first menu let me just close that here we go there's the first menu and the second menu on the second menu you will find here your github account and the power apps and there you can turn this off and turn it on depending on what you want here you can view the settings and you can disable the power app in case you would like to so guys that was it for today's video this is how you can connect trello with your github account it was pretty easy pretty straightforward steps that's doesn't really take that much of time uh, it is pretty simple just doing the same thing uh, you can do the same thing with other apps if you want to connect them with Trello as well so thank you guys a lot for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video